So it's about noon. I moved into the living room. I'm using the webcam because I thought it would be easy to show you things that I've been doing and gotten. And I um, even moved the table horizontal so I could have my laptop next to the tripod that my webcam's on and also have room to show, show you stuff. And I want to apologize in advance if you hear me coughing a little bit or clearing my throat, sinus stuff, like I said the other day. And it's driving me crazy. But first I'll show you what I was working on this morning. It's a canvas. Um, I actually started working on it um, last weekend. And it's a stretch canvas. I got this from Canvas Corp when I was on the design team um, two, no, not two, three or four years ago. Um, the first year I was on the main design team and I had no problem fulfilling my duties with that. And then the second year I was like an ambassador type thing and I was post like every so often. It wasn't mandatory. And I was trying to keep up with that. And that's also when my mom fell. So I was trying to keep up with my duties, doing stuff with Canvas Corp, and also trying to help my mom. And I also was trying to keep up with my mojo because that was fleeting away because I was helping her and I didn't want to get messy. Well, you know, needing to help her. That's why I started diamond painting. <laughs> anyway, so I had this for quite a while, and the canvas is 12 by 6. And like I said, I started working on this over the week last weekend, gluing. Um, first, I glued like this black webbing that I got at the 99 cent store, like years ago um, around Halloween time and then I also glued over the weekend I, I don't know if you can tell this lace there it's a big piece that goes like through the whole um, length of the canvas and then the other day I glued down more of the black um, stuff <laughs> And I had to let that dry for a while because I, my podge didn't want to stick very well to the canvas. Um, the matte medium worked wonders. I really used that stuff to glue the material down. So I let that dry for a few days. And then this morning I gessoed it and I added some pink um, Americana paint that I had forever. And then I used some stencils. Um, can't see the first one I used. Um, I used a circle stencil from Crafters Workshop and paint, maybe a little bit you can see here. I used the slate paint from Canvas Corp. I don't think they have it anymore. And I believe the people that had Canvas Corp when I was on the design team, sold it to somebody else. And so, anyway. <laughs> um, and then I used another Americana stencil, the Arrow one, with a turquoise teal craft paint. And then I went over that with black craft paint and another Americana stencil, the Hexagon. And then I decided to use some Donna, Don, the inks, Dallarani inks. I did some dripping on that way. And I also used a gold one. Well, I used the pink ink for the drips. The, and then I used some the gold for splatters. I don't know if you can tell the splatters. There. And now it sits till I figure out what else I want to do with it. 
And I also started, well, I just sold another canvas, not a canvas corp one. It's like a five by seven stretch that I got years ago at a um, drugstore. So all of a sudden I felt like working on canvas for some reason. And for, also from strange, strange reason, I decided to play with my Julie Nutting stamps. And I haven't played with the stamps in a really long time, like two years at least. And I haven't bought any of her new ones in like three or so years. Some of them are probably discontinued by now. I, I see them and I you know want them but you know money <laughs> and at the one time I wasn't interested in any crafting like I said I'm slowly getting back into it thankfully and what I do with um with the stamp with the dolls is I stamp them in advance on um book paper and I'll show you because I stamped well I had some already stamped out before I started playing again and um, I stamped some more <laughs> so I have a bunch and then I color the skin and the hair in advance and the color watercolor set that I used to color them this time because I sometimes I use crayon some well I don't well not crayon sometimes I use color pencils and sometimes I use watercolors and the watercolors I use for the set that I was working on this time is from Hobby Lobby I got it on clearance a couple years ago when they had everything in the sun on clearance <laughs> That and I decided I want to play or use them because I want to use some of the paper that I have in my stash and like that I haven't touched in forever. I hardly bought any paper in a really long time until um, not the last time I went to Michael's because that was just recently. It was like last month yeah it had to be because that's when I went and got my prescription for my thyroid med I went across the street to Michael's and they had their Christmas stuff on clearance so and they didn't have much of crafting stuff like paper and stuff for Christmas but they had some paper packs they had a lot of one and they had like only one or two of another 6x6 recollection pad. So I got both of those and they cost like $5 total. But anyway, that's the last time I bought paper was like last month for the holidays. But I haven't bought anything in a really long time. So this set, um, the base, card base I used is from Studio Calico. I I think yeah, I got this one at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I think I bought this one. I know some of the paper that I the six by six paper I have, Xandra sent me. So it's like now it's getting it's been so long since I've done anything. Some stuff I don't remember if I bought it or if Xandra sent it to me. But um so that's for the paper bases, but for the dolls themselves. I used um, this paper of collection, My Mind's Eye, Happy Day. And I decided to use it for just for dressing them because I thought if I used them for card bases and dressing them, they would just blend in. <laughs> and normally I use one paper collection for cards and dressing them. 
Plus, with it being a neutral card base, I thought the, this will pop. So. so now I gotta find another neutral card, neutral paper pad, so I can use the rest of this. I haven't done anything else with them. I ha obviously I haven't finished them because I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. Normally, with um, scraps. This stuff, I use a, a balloon stamp and stamp a bunch of balloons and then glue them onto the card and have them like holding balloons. Or if like, there's accessories, I can stamp um, on the scraps and stuff for that. You know, have it all matchy matchy. And I even use the, you know, the tops of the paper. Use it like a little border, and then I'll try to hide the hole with the dowel or something. <laughs> and then these, I use the Bull Bunny um, pin cushion collection. And this one, Xandra did send me that I remember. <laughs> and again, I have scraps. And I only have one whole piece of um, paper that's left. The rest is all scraps. And this set I got about eight cards out of. I know I made others with the paper pad and another paper or the same paper pad dress them in other papers and I don't remember how many they made the first time I made six eight more this one made six and I know I made some more from the collection I wanted to finish the paper <laughs> so in this one I did use um the same paper to dress them they won't clash. That one might. I won't use it for that card, but card paste. But you get what I mean. Yeah. I still gotta um, cut out like you know, where the arms are and stuff. I want to use the X-Acto knife for that, and that's over at the desk, along with the knife. That's that set. And then the last ones I did... were from Crate Paper Party Day, and I don't... I think I bought this one at TJ Maxx. And I made 11 cards out of that one, and I have, like, again, only one piece left. But the rest, and the rest is all scraps. And again, some of them I have to take the X-Acto knife and cut. I don't tell. I did shade them with a color pencil. Oopsie. So yeah, I don't know when I'll finish them <laughs> or what. I just feel you know, wanted to play with the dolls. I really want the new ones from the past a few years, but I doubt that I'll get any. So there's that. And the last thing is my order from Thrift Books. 
got calm. It came last week. And I don't remember how much each book is precisely. I know that it's at least, the total was like $10 and change, $10.48, somewhere around there. And I know that because when you order from thriftbooks.com, you get free shipping if you order at least $10 worth of stuff. So, um, I try to order at least $10 worth of stuff. I mean, if you order less than 10, the shipping's not that bad, but free is better. <laughs> it's always better. So, the first book is a book that's been on my Amazon wish list forever. Um, it's called Butterflies and Moss by David Carter. And it's a DK publication. And this one. I don't want to touch because I don't want to mess up my setup. But so <coughs> sorry. And I like this book because I looked at it when I got it. And I like this one much better than the butterfly one that I got years ago because the sizes of the butterflies are different sizes some are bigger than some are smaller the one that I have gotten previously it was all one size practically it's about maybe this size I want to say so and these are much colorful than the one book I have I mean I'm still going to use that one You know, I use this for my collages thanks to Pack or Die. <laughs> and the other one, oh, I believe Thrift Books has this in other um, versions hardcover, different conditions, and stuff. You know, conditions vary, with, well, the price varies on the condition. This is the paperback version. And then the other book that I got, I don't know if I can get it all. Yeah, I don't think I can get it all. Got to move this again. You might see my belly. <laughs> so this book is The Look of the Century. It's another DK publication. And when I was originally um, picked this book up, I was going to get the paperback version, which I'm guessing was this size. Because um, the, the paperback version of this book was like $4.91. And I would have had made the $10. So that's why I got this. Um, that way I could get the $10. <laughs> I'm, you know, subtotal. Get the free shipping. And I believe the, the, I should have gotten the smaller one or the paperback version because it probably would have been this size. Could have been much easier to use. Well, this is, I could still use it, but the size would have been easy to, to you know, well, been better for like art journaling or collaging. Because that's what I'm going to use it for, for reverse collage, you know, cut up and use. But there's some like bigger items in here. But I could probably make it work. And this was published in 96. So that's why you get clothing from the 50 or 60s to the 90s. And looking back now at the clothing, what we wore in the 90s, it's like, wow. <laughs> so it's really fun to use because I want to get back into the reverse collage. Um, 
Again, I haven't touched it in a long time. So that's when I did the reverse collage in the America book. That's when I started getting back into things, but not really. And yeah, that makeup hair. I want to show you the packaging. My favorite part. <laughs> I love this stuff. So, anyway, um, when I was doing the reverse collage, I was using what I had because I didn't haven't bought anything in a long time, like glue. Well, I bought school glue, but that's the extent of it. Maybe Mod Podge because that's what I have left. Um, the Mod Podge, and school glue, and because all my matte medium and stuff dried up because <laughs> I haven't touched it in a long time. So when I was doing the reverse collage in the America book, I was using either school glue or Mod Podge and that really, the stuff didn't glue, stay glued down. So like you need matte medium. I'm like, okay, I don't have that. <laughs> so when I went to Blitz a couple weeks ago, I that's why I went to get the matte medium so I can use it. Well, not just for reverse collaging, but for other um, art drilling and stuff. Because I needed the glue. Because <laughs> I don't, I still have uh, Mod Podge, but that will eventually run out. So. Anyway, that's what I have to show and tell. I'm still waiting on my diamond painting. It's in route in, from via DHL, and then it will be it will be mailed to me via UPS. So who knows when I'll get it? <laughs> Expect it to, to be delivered by the 26th, but who knows? And I babbled on enough, so I'm going to end it right here and see you guys later.